side of the veteran American, 33 years old now. Nicky Hayden is 200th Premier Class appearance. Miller takes 13th place. Yeah, both of them are close. Open class Hondas. Back to Mark Marquez. I think anybody who saw that was Paul setting that yesterday. But he obviously had the ability to do it, and I think just the gods with him just fell down here. You see everything's going his way. This is the mark as we remember always in the circuit of the Americas. Seven laps to go. He has an advantage of three and a half seconds and really is the back. Second place in 20 vital World Championship points. That would decide who is going to be leading the World Championship. We go to Argentina for round three in one week's time. There is that battle for second place. It's the whole Italian battle for the victory two weeks ago in Qatar. This time it's for second place. Rossi, the Vizioso Eno. That's how it finished. First, second, and third course two weeks ago in Doha. Marquez, though, up the road three seconds clear. The Vizioso now. Really is a good look at Valentino Rossi as they go through turn eight. Yeah, we ride with the Vizioso. At him at turn 11, a really good, good drive down that long back straight. But as we saw, Rossi won't let him through at turn 12. Rossi to Vincioso, you know the Lorenzo desperately, desperately trying to get up with this leading trio. And I don't think it's close enough. Bradley Smith still is not hanging on there in sixth place. He looks a very comfortable in sixth place. Yeah, he's comfortably ahead of his fellow British rider, Cal Crunchlow. This is breaking at the end of the back straight. Rossi, De Vizioso, we saw them almost have contact there a few laps ago. De Vizioso not close enough for an attack on this lap. Eno is still running in four. Lorenzo not really making any impression, as Nick said, on this battle for second place at the moment. De Vizioso cuts it tight again through turn 13. Simply didn't cut it tight there. Close enough. Very difficult man to overtake is the Vincenzo Italian Valentino Rossi. He wants this championship points. He wants to be leading the world championship. Don't rule out your Noni. He had to work very hard to get there, though, didn't he? Andrea Noni. Vincenzo looking for instant revenge after his narrow defeat to Rossi. That's a brilliant season over the guitar weeks ago. Marquez has crossed the line to a complete lap 15. Third place in the Three and a half seconds clear on Valentino Rossi, but there's a great battle going on between Rossi there and Shot coming through the first corner. We ride on board now with the Vizioso. Yeah. He's going to take the plunge down the hill through turn two. Clubs right up on him, didn't he? Yes, they break from two and we ride with uh, both of them for their respective speeds and uh, respective gears. Rossi at the top, of course, on the Yamaha, the Vizioso on the Ducati. The Vizioso, as we saw that on board footage, dive through at turn three on the Valentino Rossi. Six laps to go, and the Vizioso brilliantly executed move on Valentino Rossi as they accelerated up to the third corner. Rossi dropped back to third place with Ian only right behind him now. And can the Vizioso uh, make a break uh, went away from Rossi? They plunge down the hill now, turn ten, fourth gear, flat out. 160 miles an hour. He only closes up on Rossi. Vincenzo had planned that going up to turn one. Andy, can Rossi get it back? Can you only do anything about it? Lorenzo is not out of it. Down this long straight to Vincenzo with the extra power than you can. You don't think he's going to be front and Rossi would come up the inside. Rossi probably more aware, but perhaps that will be the Anoni. Five and a half laps to go. Marquez is cleared off at the front as he usually does here at the circuit of the Americas. But a tremendous battle for second place. Well, we know last year Valentino Rossi played some pretty major front tyre grip issues. It was a real excessive wear on that front tyre. That's why he's picked the harder option that was made available this year by Bridgestone to counter some of the degradation issues that they experienced in the race last year. Was another one of them. As you say, Nick, Jorge Lorenzo. He's on the charge. Lorenzo in fifth place. He's 1.4 seconds back of this group. Certainly that's not the gap now. Here's a replay. Vincenzo's up right the inside of Rossi at turn three. Yeah. And what's important for Rossi, you've got to make it stick because he will come back at you straight away. Now they're telling him they don't make suspect what that Rossi they probably they may have heard you know a, a couple of times. They've got to be careful. Lorenzo really is on the charge now with five laps to go. 
Yeah, Lorenzo now only seven tenths of a second behind Andrea Ian only in four. So Lorenzo certainly not out of podium contention. Five laps to go. Andy Smith six, cross low seven. And as is Margaro eight, though they be the only rise across the line with five to go. Andrea Ian only still in fourth place. Gap now between himself though and Ricky Lorenzo. It's just under three tenths of a second. So Lorenzo putting together a real late challenge here through turn nine. So that's left hand to turn ten now. It's Davizio, so second place at the moment. Rossi third, Ianoni and Lorenzo. This is the battle for second place. Carol Abraham has just entered the pit number 17. He's out of the race, obviously, with some kind of technical issue. Vincioso, Rossi, Yanoni and Lorenzo. And with uh, Carol Abraham, it looks to be a broken uh, broken shoulder, so he's not able to change gear anymore. And Carol Abraham, can Lorenzo, but well, won't get a little bit closer to Yanoni. Got to say, Rossi and Vincioso have pulled up a bit in advance. Absolutely, Nick, that's the biggest gap we've seen between Vincioso, Rossi and Yanoni for some time. Yanoni in fourth place at the moment. Jorge Lorenzo trying to cut that gap. Valentino Rossi certainly not letting Andre Vincioso so get away in second place. Marquez now the lead over 4.2 seconds. This is Nova for Rossi. Rossi's going to have one really big go at the Vincio, so It could be soon. He could have the patience to wait a little bit. We went to see four laps ago. Tremendous battle for second place between the Ducati of Andre and Vincioso and the Yamaha of the champion Nina Valentino Rossi. There is Ian Oney, there is Lorenzo, there is Bradley Smith. Ian Oney losing contact with that battle for second place. He's now 1.26 seconds behind Valentino Rossi. Is Ian Oney's podium challenge over? Vincioso now through this twisty section from turns 2 through to 10. Vincioso still in second place, Valentino Rossi third. It looked like the back of the pitch there, Ian Oney now coming under real pressure from Jorge Lorenzo. This is the battle for fourth. Lorenzo now has closed his bit for the whole race coming through turn nine. Yeah, Lorenzo closing up on Ian Oney. We don't know if Ian Oney is having problems. They come up with a rise in turn nine. They race down now towards ten and then eleven. Break hard as they come onto the back straight. We ride with Rossi. If it's Yoso in front of him, Rossi won't match him to speed down here. in sixth place. Mark Marquez, the race leader, just going through the shot there at turn 12. The lead still over four seconds over Andrea Di Vincioso. There is the uh, number four Italian with Valentino Rossi right behind him in third. Ian only coming under pressure again from Lorenzo as they come down to turn 15. Yeah, Di Vincioso knows he's just got to keep a little bit of a gap because Rossi will um, absolutely give it everything to get past him. He's going for that same. Lorenzo to get past the Yanoni. On the lead, Ducati second, Yamaha third, Ducati, Yamaha, Yamaha, Cruxlow seven, Lacey Spargo, okay. Petrucci, Vignales, Riyama, Barbara, Jack Miller, Hayden and Batista. That is your top 15. Mark Marquez has crossed the line to start lap 94 seconds is the advantage. The Vincioso now in second, he's four tenths of a second clear of Valentino Rossi. It's Ian only there in fourth, Lorenzo in fifth. I would imagine Lorenzo is going to be pretty close as they come up through a turn one, closing up on Yanoni, catching him, passing him at two very, very different situations. This is where Andrea Vincioso took second place from Valentino Rossi two or three laps ago. Lorenzo not close enough to mount the same attack. On Ian Oney, but it's right now on the back. And here is Jorge Lorenzo. Lorenzo trying to take the fourth place. Here he does, he does brilliantly up the inside of Ian Oney. As he cut it back, Lorenzo cuts it back, stays in fourth. Ian Oney now back in fifth place. Brilliant stuff from Lorenzo. Nothing you know, he can do about it. Uh, just, it's difficult. 
but Lorenzo who had this sort of fire and pace earlier in the race would have been perhaps running certainly with uh, Davizioso and Rossi perhaps not the market three laps to go 2.6 seconds Lorenzo is now behind Valentino Rossi through those first two sectors so uh, Lorenzo highly unlikely is going to be able to take down that gap so uh, it looks like best at the moment that Lorenzo will finish fourth well, that's where he finished of course the season that he raced in Qatar 14 days ago Davizio so still keeping Valentino Rossi at bay he's on that medium option front tyre Rossi on the harder option Davizio so though still running in second place coming with a no new threat at the moment from Rossi they've been joint world championship leaders wouldn't they I mean I don't think you've got to start worrying about fastest laps and everything else at the moment Great story going into the uh, Argentinian race in just a week's time. race a year ago by, by 4.1 seconds the lead just over 4 seconds now I think actually Leon Mass has not been uh, one of my strongest subjects but if it stays as it is Valentino Rossi will still lead the world championship by 1 point he'll move on to 41 points yeah, right. 2 seconds the yeah, lead yeah you're absolutely right that's in the 25 2016 here is Mark Marquez down into turn 11 about a lap and a half to go on this circuit on the Cruise control for the Spaniards. It's all about this battle for second place. As we said, as it stands at the moment, we must keep the World Championship lead back to Argentina next weekend. The great second successive second place for Andre Di Vincioso. And the tremendous performance again by the GP15 and Ducati. Rossi is just not quite getting close enough, is he? But He's the doctor, he's the nine times world champion. Don't rule anything out, but David Sosa is riding a really good race. There's Lorenzo, he has got away from Dre, you know. And then you just got a glimpse there of Bradley Smith, who surely couldn't catch him there, even if it's one and a half hours to go. It was like a tenth of a second quicker, Smith, on that last lap by Andrea Ian Only. And they uh, obviously are getting into some uh, grip issues late on in this race as Mark Marquez now just about to start the final lap. Here he comes through turn 20 to complete lap 20. Marquez over the line now to start the final lap. Marquez surely en route to Grand Prix victory number three here in the circuit of the Americas. Up the hill for the very last time. A familiar number 93. This is the battle for second place at the moment. Of Andrea De Vincioso holds firm under pressure from the championship leader Valentino Rossi and he has just heaped open a few precious meters of me. Vincioso, clear daylight now between himself and Valentino Rossi. We know the Yamaha that works well through this series of changes on direction. Rossi again closing up as they come through turn seven. Turn eight now, right up the middle, look at left through turn nine, hard on the gas all the way up to fourth gear through turn ten. Rossi certainly not close enough for an attack on the brakes at turn eleven. Nah, definitely not, there is Marquez, here is Davizio, a little bit of a twitch. Rossi surely won't take any undue risk at the moment, Gigi to the near. The man behind GP15 and the Ducati Revival will be mighty pleased with this performance. Surely he's going to finish in second place. Marquez leaks half a lap to go. So now in the braking zone, 